Hi, this is David Davis from Actual Tech Media. I'm here at the Emerging Technology Summit in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I'm excited to be joined by Mr. Scott Amitt, who's a Director of Infrastructure, and what we're talking about today is Rubrik. So, how you doing, Scott? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being on. So, yeah. um, here at the Emerging Technology Summit, you know, there's a lot of, obviously, emerging technology, things that are relatively new, uh, new software-defined solutions, containers, uh, data protection solutions, and specifically, you know, I, I know that you are a Deltaware Data customer yep. uh, who've recently implemented Rubrik for data protection, and I just want to kind of get a little bit of your, your story, uh, because I know our, our audience out there, um, you know, we've, we've worked with Rubrik before, we've learned about their solutions. Uh, Chris Wall, who's one of their evangelists, is yep. a good, good friend of mine, a great guy, and um, so I'm excited to hear what you guys have done with Rubik. So sure. first tell us, you know, what kind of challenge were you having with data protection? Yeah, one of our biggest challenges was around um, the, the amount of time we we're spending in the care and feeding of our backups. It just, it took a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of resources uh, to be able to manage that and ensure that backups were successful. And when it came time to restore and test the recovery processes, um, it, was, it was not efficient. We we're spending way too much time getting our backup application prepared to be doing recoveries uh, versus just letting it do its thing and actually recovering our data. Um, we also were using um, legacy tape technology mm -hmm. and the fidelity of those tapes um, was questionable. We would often find that data was written to tape, we'd retrieve that tape. Um, you know, it's, it would just, the hardware, the technology was susceptible to faults. And so we're looking to get away from tape technology and move to more of an online available backup solution. Yeah, yeah, I think that's smart. I mean, uh, people say tapes are very reliable, yeah. but a lot of times it's hard to actually validate that. You it know? is. You yeah. have to request them from offsite and bring them in and restore data. It takes a long time. And, and so uh, your confidence level in, in tapes is, is, uh, is not very strong uh, yeah. because of that tremendous validation process. So, um, so once you implement, first tell us about your rubric implementation. Sure. What's it look like? Sure. So we implemented a pair of nodes in our primary data center, and then we implemented a, an identical pair of nodes in our backup data center. And so um, we're backing up our virtual machines out of our primary data center using Rubrik's native built-in replication technology to send a copy of all those backups uh, to the backup data center where they're online and available for restore without any sort of backup application recovery process. Um, and the same thing occurs in our backup data center where we have um, some footprint of production VMs. We back those up and we do bi-directional replication back to our production data center. So every, every virtual machine is backed up and backups exist locally in that data center as well as at the, uh, the, uh, the offsite data center. Um, in addition, um, to, to sort of address that challenge of, of getting that data off-site, mm -hmm. um, we implemented their object-based storage model, and so we um, have integrated with AWS. And so all backups, in addition to being stored at each of those data centers, get shipped to AWS and are stored in the cloud, um, where from a recovery perspective, when it comes time to do a recovery, we basically pick where that data is, right? So um, if we need to, if a scenario existed where we needed to restore out of the cloud, we're able to do so. If we need to restore in our primary data center or backup data center, we can do that as well. Wow, so you've got three copies of your data, essentially yep. one local, one at your DR site, and then another one up in the cloud. We do, yes. So when you go to do uh, validation of, of your, your backup um, system now, uh, the old process, I think you told me, took roughly a whole day. Yep. How long does it take now? Yeah, it's, it's minutes. Um, because it's, it's, it's all online and, and wired up, um, it's, it's hitting the, the interface of, of Rubrik and the backups are all there and available. Um, it does a great search and indexing process where you can quickly find the, either the specific data or the entire VM you need. Um, and you know, several mouse clicks later, you're, you're uh, restoring data. And that's, I mean, tremendous amount of confidence must be gained by that. Yes, exactly. And in, uh, we were talking earlier about Rubrik being a sort of an emerging, te emerging technology, mm -hmm. and our organization has uh, historically aligned themselves with some of the um, more entrenched legacy backup providers out there. And so it was a, a bit of a stretch for our organization to look at a product that has not been at market for very long. Right. Um, we felt like the backup space was a good place to um, sort of dip our toes in the water there. Yeah. Um, and um, we've had tremendous success. You know, folks. 
on my team that were a little bit doubting whether this was a viable technology um, have really come around and are, we have got a team full of advocates for Rubrik right now because it's, it's simplified life and that's one way to gain confidence of an IT person if, if you make their job simpler, right? Absolutely, so. yeah, yeah. So make the lives of the IT folks uh, easier, more efficient, simpler, yeah. uh, give confidence you know, in the data protection solution and better protect the company so that you have multiple copies of the data that's very quickly accessible, yep. very easily validated. So thanks so much for sharing yeah. your story today about Rubrik. Hey,